and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my god, you guys, the Bratz challenge. It's everywhere, it went totally viral, everyone is crazy about it, and I've seen so many uh, Bratz inspired makeup looks on Instagram. I've seen so many videos where people are transforming themselves into Bratz dolls. I've seen James Charles do it, I've seen Nikki tutorials do it. You can tell it's a Bratz madness. So well, I decided to follow this trend and I'm not going to transform myself into a Bratz doll because I'm not a makeup artist, but I decided that I'm gonna give this challenge an artistic spin and in this manner today I'll be creating a Bratz inspired drawing. And I think it's gonna be so much fun to do it, I'm so excited to start sketching, start drawing, so I'm just not gonna talk anymore, I'm just gonna grab my pencils and get started. So I already browsed through Pinterest and Instagram in search for some Bratz doll inspiration, I mean the original Bratz dolls. So I found four pictures and I really can't decide between them so let me show you guys which pictures I consider in between. So this is the first one. I really like uh, the hair and the outfit. Colors are all also on point so this one is uh, one of my favorites. Then this one I picked because I really like the blue color scheme and the blue lip. Also the hairstyle is really cool so this is why I'm considering this one. Then the third one is this one also because the hair color and the hairstyle. I'm not into this kind of gothic like um, outfit but uh, in general this one I picked because of the makeup and of the hairstyle. And the last one is this one and I picked her because I love the 90s grungy vibe of it. I really like her outfit and the face. So, well, I already posted a poll on my Instagram to let you guys vote in between these four and I posted just for like two minutes to not tease too much, to not uh, get into too much details and you guys seem to like this one the most and honestly speaking, I'm into this one the most too. So, well, I just might go with this one then I guess. Yes. So once the doll was picked I started off as usual with sketching and this time I used the SMLT Bristol sketch pad. It's actually becoming one of my favorite markers paper lately and I'm gonna give you more updates on it because I think that you guys definitely should check it out but this video is about the brass challenge so I don't want to ramble too much about the marker papers. I might do a separate video about this. Let me know if you would be interested. But anyways. As I started off with sketching the position of the girl that I want to draw today, the whole like body structure, I surprisingly had a really easy time to execute her pose, her face features and in general the whole concept of the drawing. I didn't think too much of how I want this girl to look exactly, I still wanted to keep her doll kind of like appearance and of course I wanted to keep her outfit similar to the inspiration picture, but like everything just uh, came out super easy and I had a really easy time with sketching the drawing. So of course when the sketch is coming out really good then you're already excited to color it in and do other uh, steps of the drawing so then I moved forward to actually adding some details and actually I kept everything from the original doll. I stick to her accessories, to her little hair clips, I stick to all of it but the only thing I changed was this uh, pink fur that the original doll had because I didn't feel like it would fit my drawing, I wanted to uh, turn it into something more modern, not that fur is not modern, but like I felt that the jeans jacket would be something more fitted for her and it will kind of complement the jeans skirt that she had, but instead of making everything blue I just made her uh, jacket pink so it will stick to the original idea that her fur was pink. So this is how I decided to kind of uh, interpret her outfit and it really is giving me those childhood memories when all of those dolls had really uh, extraordinary outfits, the outfits that you wouldn't even think of and I remember as a kid I used to love designing outfits for dolls. I would always sketch them on some random pieces of papers and I would always invent something out of this world. I, will, I remember my imagination was just crazy and it's actually interesting that um, I remember those days really vividly 
vividly and the fact that I was designing all of those crazy clothing but nowadays I feel like I'm more blocked when it comes to designing outfits on my girls. It's actually really interesting and a little bit weird that I got kind of blocked and less creative within time but well I mean it's just something to think of I guess but I'm trying to do my best nowadays and uh, well I think it's not that bad in fact. And speaking of that, did any of you guys actually watch the Bratz when you were younger? Because I actually don't remember when I was ever watching this series. I remember that I had some magazines with Bratz in it that I was trying to like color it in or something. I don't remember what exactly it was, but I remember it was a magazine, but I never watched Bratz in TV or any sort of media like that. But I know that there was some Bratz shows, even a movie, but I was always a person that preferred Totally Spies or Witch, Wings and all those kind of um, cartoons. So honestly speaking, I didn't watch Bratz when I was younger, so uh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this challenge, but then on the other hand, like, I think those challenges is more about fun than actually be really in-depth, involved in like Bratz dolls and stuff, so yeah, I guess it's, it's cool anyways. today's brass challenge drawing definitely let me know how did you like the drawing itself and how did you like the idea for this video because it's actually me taking a little bit from the beauty community and trying to transform it into something art related which I think is actually pretty cool so definitely give me your feedback on it if you want to see more of these kind of videos also leave a like under uh, this video leave a comment so I know what you guys think 
And that will be all for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you all. I appreciate you so, so much. And well, I just can't wait to see you in my next videos. Take care, guys. Bye. I'm just going with the gut. Never had a doubt. Felt like this is just a must. For me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now.